Hey guys, welcome back to Andy's Dinosaur Reviews. Just a really quick, very small news video with only two things included in it, but it was some stuff that I thought was really cool and I kind of wanted to get out here for you guys to see immediately. So one of the most common questions I think that I get when it comes to the Mattel Jurassic World line and the upcoming Dominion film is will there be a different Giganotosaurus toy than the super colossal version or the 5 inch basic version the common ones that we've seen a lot of and the answer to that is yes absolutely there is and we actually now have visual evidence of this as a viewer here of the channel Mohammed has just sent me some images of the strike and roar Giganotosaurus this was found in Mexico and gives us a really good idea of how nice the more standard sized Giganotosaurus figure will be. I think it looks great. It really is a beautiful sculpt. Mattel really did do a fantastic job on the sculpt of this Giganotosaurus, but one thing that I really love about this is the fact that we actually have some of the greens out there on the tail, which is really exciting because we don't always get paint work out onto the tail of our Jurassic figures from Mattel, so seeing it here on this Giganotosaurus, although it's not quite as much as I would like, but it definitely looks really good here on this one. And we also have an image that was shared by Collect Jurassic as well, showing off the Giganotosaurus. And uh, again, this is a really cool release and a very exciting release for all the fans that did not want to purchase the Super Colossal because it's so large, or the you know five-inch basic maybe because it's so small. We have a much better sized version of the Giganotosaurus again showing up in Mexico. Not quite sure when it'll start to show up here in the United States, but I'm sure it's on its way. And the second thing I have is the Jurassic Outpost Behind the Gates reveal. This time is a Sarah Harding and Stegosaurus set. These images were taken again from Collect Jurassic, so a huge thank you goes out to Tim from Collect Jurassic for the screenshots that he has taken, but man, these look great. This is a very exciting set for me because having a Sarah Harding straight away is a great new character to enter the Jurassic World line. It's one that is like one of the top characters in the Lost World and it's one of the very few that we have not had released from Mattel quite yet, although there are still a few more that we could see in that, you know, line of legacy collection figures from the Lost World. But it seems as though lately they have been focusing on the Lost World because we just had the Roland Tembo set. Now we have this awesome Sarah and Stegosaurus set, so I hope they actually continue to move forward with different Lost World sets. I would love to see more of this, but the Stegosaurus is probably one of the most exciting things about this set, and it looks really good. I've been waiting for Mattel to make a Lost World style Stegosaurus for quite some time when it comes to the paint apps, and they get close every once in a while, but they don't quite achieve it, but this time it looks like they have completely and perfectly achieved it, and then having the baby Stegosaurus is really just the icing on the cake for this set so one that I am absolutely looking forward to and I believe the pre-orders are live right now and uh, you can head on over to Target right now and pre-order this beautiful set so as of right now guys again that's all I got I really just wanted to show off these two new stories that have just been showing up online of course late last night the Giganotosaurus had kind of arrived here online and shown off and uh, now the behind the gates reveal this morning so some really, really awesome and very exciting stuff yet again coming from Mattel. So if you like this type of content, make sure you hit that subscribe button. Make sure you hit the thumbs up for the video as well. And I will see you in the next video. Thanks for watching.